Are you new to BLE and trying to figure out what BLE advertising is and how it works? Don't worry, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into BLE advertising, explaining everything in simple terms so you can easily understand it. In simple terms, BLE advertising is a way for a BLE device to send out information about itself to other devices within its range. It's an efficient way for devices to communicate without establishing a full-blown connection. Think of it like a Bluetooth Hello World message that devices broadcast to other devices within range, informing them of their existence, capability, and services being offered. It's like how people use a bullhorn to communicate a message to a large group of people. Understanding how BLE advertising works and the types of data included in the advertising packet is crucial to understanding how Bluetooth Low Energy works in general, especially when it comes to non-connectable devices such as beacons and tags. There are many details involved with BLE advertising, including many advertising modes and types of data that can be included. In this video, we'll focus on the most common use of BLE advertising packets in broadcast only devices, which is the non-connectable advertising type. Non-connectable packets are used when a device simply wants to broadcast its presence and capabilities without establishing a connection. This is useful for devices such as beacons, which are designed to broadcast information to nearby devices without the need for a connection. So how does this hello world message work? When a BLE device is in advertising mode, it will send out packets on three RF channels in the Bluetooth spectrum. The packets contain certain pieces of information, including mandatory and optional fields, which depend on the type of advertising packet being broadcast. BLE advertising does come with some limitations though, for example the inability to support bidirectional data transfer with some exceptions in the latest Bluetooth specification. Still, it's perfectly suitable for many types of applications such as wireless sensors and active RFID tags. The most important parameter in advertising mode is what's called the advertising interval which defines the time during which the device sends out the packets on all three of the advertising channels. For instance, if a device has an advertising interval of one second, then every one second the radio will wake up and send the advertising packet on each of the three primary advertising channels, 37, 38, and 39, then go back to sleep and wake up one second later from the beginning of the transmission. Now let's talk about the types of data that are typically included in advertising packets. The most common ones are the device name, which is just the name of the device, manufacturer specific data, and this applies to specifically the iBeacon format and is used to send also proprietary data unique to a specific manufacturer. We have then what's called service data, and this applies to the Eddystone format and is used to advertise a specific service offered by the device and its data. And finally, we have what's called the TX power level. This is a field that tells the receiver how strong the advertising device's signal is at a specific distance. Finally, let's discuss the benefits of using a BLE advertising device in non-connectable mode. So using an advertising only mode has several benefits, including lower power consumption. This means that devices send out data, advertising data, and then go to sleep in between the advertising events, which saves power. And there's no special thing to communicate and be able to convey that data to the BLE scanner on the other side. So the second benefit is faster communication. Lower cost, and that's because a broadcast-only device does not need to establish connections, which makes it simpler in terms of the architecture and the physical footprint of the chipset, leading to lower cost. And finally, one-to-many communication, so multiple scanners can receive the advertising data without the need for any special functionality. They simply need to scan for and read the advertising data being sent out. And that's a wrap on this video about BLE advertising. I hope you found this information helpful and that you now have a better understanding of how BLE advertising works and how it can be used in various applications. Stay tuned for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.